Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be what is their true feelings for you right now. Um, and also, we're also going to look at what their actions are going to be as well and some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you guys like a, a live person reading with me or you'd like to take my uh, six week long mentorship class, it's going to be very hands-on. So if you guys are interested in taking that course, all the information is in the description, a box below. All right, so let's switch up camera views here because you guys like it when I shuffle on camera. So let's do this. Okay, so how does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's use a couple different decks so we can get clarity here. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, I don't know, but how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's room? Basically, show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. I also, I'm feeling, I'm getting, Leo, that your person is like, they really enjoy having a good time with you, like going out with you, like they feel like you guys really get a lot of attention. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show my cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. They feel like a sense of excitement when they're with you also. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I told you, six of wands. That's exactly what I was feeling. Okay. Some, uh, Knight of Swords, all right, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, all right, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, wow, the King of Cups coming out. Let's clarify this uh, Six of Wands, okay, okay. All right, let's, let's go over it. So what do we got going on here? We have a situation where your person is like, Leo, I feel like you get a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the person feels like you have a lot of value and worth. Or there's something around the situation where you're getting attention. And there's something around money and finance. This person feels like very cautious, defensive. They feel like there's been some kind of abrupt decision or action that was taken here that was pretty sudden for them. They weren't expecting it. Maybe there was some kind of harsh words or, or somebody said something that was kind of abrupt or sudden or harsh in a way with that Knight of Swords energy. And it feels like this person is like, I want to apologize to you about this situation because it's like this work and finance situation they're cautious and defensive about this commitment so some of you guys may work with this person as well okay this person that you have a love interest for um, or it's like there's something about the situation they feel like you're getting a lot of attention like they they know that you always are noticed they do really enjoy that about you but something was said something was said that is like uh, that's like this person's like now i'm taken aback a bit um, so let's, let's see more information. So we see this money and finance situation. We see a victory. This person misses you when you're not around and they love you. And even though there are some harsh words that may have been said that cause this cautious defensive energy, they want to be more than just a friend to you, right? Or they're concerned that the reason why they said the harshness was because they feel like this socializing, this, these friends are infringing upon the situation when it comes to you and them. And uh, they want to reconcile, they want to apologize, they want to fix the situation when it comes to some kind of commitment here. Your person is saying or feels that they are wanting to take an action. Uh, they've been overanalyzing this action because they really want this commitment, okay? And uh, they're concerned that you're not talking to them. So there must be some kind of communication issues here because we got the Queen of Swords, we've got the Knight of Swords. Um, there's concerns about some kind of communication stuff going on here. Because it's like they're overanalyzing the situation. Like the Knight of Pentacles is saying, 
I really feel like things have been taking a lot longer than I'd like when it comes to this commitment. And I really want to assert myself to take control of this situation. And uh, you can see this person's like, there's something about communication ending. And very soon they want a decision to be made. So it's almost like they're concerned that you're talking to somebody uh, or doing something or some harsh communication here or something abrupt about some kind of sudden communication. This person's like, let me see what else I'm picking up on here. So it's like someone has, um, okay, how do I say this in a way? Uh, there's something about ego. They feel like there's something about ego here and they feel like, ego is getting away with it itself like it's almost like uh what i see spirit has given me an image of like a balloon and someone's blowing air into a balloon and blowing air into a balloon and blowing air to a balloon and then the, the balloon is getting to the point where someone's going to let go and it's going to it's going to go away and all the air is going to come out so something about this situation where uh egos are playing a part or an issue around the situation and we see this person's feeling like there's something they're waiting for and we see there's a lot of effort and work. They feel like they're putting a lot of effort and work into this situation. And they want this commitment. They want a commitment. Okay, what else am I picking up on here? Okay, so there's some indecisions going on about you reuniting with someone when it comes to this family situation which could cause some kind of conflict. There's a lot going on. And I know this is starting to feel just like a personal reading to me. Okay, so let's bring it together so far. Okay, so this person's like, I'm missing you. I wanna make a power move towards you. And there's this conflict with this family money situation. I love you and I want a decision to be made very soon, okay? Uh, I feel like there's some kind of infringing party, some kind of self-doubt. This could be uh, a family member, a friend, okay, or uh, um, just this person feeling like a lot of self-doubt about this feeling like there's there's some kind of opportunity or offer that you have here, Ace of Wands, maybe even a new person here, Ace of Wands, that you feel that there could be some potential with. But they're trying to stay hopeful, okay? They're trying to stay hopeful about the situation. So we see the central theme. What is your person trying to say or feel? They feel like they want to make a decision because there's something about this situation that there's some kind of, I feel like you guys are in a, uh, almost like in a no contact situation. You guys can confirm, let me know in the comments below, but I feel like there's a no contact situation going on here. Cause that's what it feels like. It feels like this like person saying, I miss you. I love you. There were some harsh words that were said, but I still want to be together. And I'm still interested in this commitment, but this friend situation and this family stuff, it's been a real issue here. And I want this to be resolved. And, and again, we see there's something about ego here too. It's like someone feels like their ego was hurt, something like that. Um, and it's like, this person's like, I really deeply, deeply love you. They're coming out as a king of cups saying, you are the deep, you are, you're like my deep, true love here with the King of Cups energy. And I feel like spiritually connected to you. And it's like they want all of your attention. They feel like you're not giving them all of your attention. That's the thing too. It feels like they're feeling like your attention's like here and there and here and there and over there and over there. But it's not on them. And I feel like there's something about uh, someone's ego is hurt here around the situation or like egos are, are playing a part of this situation, right? Going on with your person and you. So let's bring it all together as a whole. So I'm missing you. I want to make a power move. We see this conflict with the money and family situation. I love you. And very soon I'm going to make a decision. I'm hopeful. We see this friend situation and this commitment engage our marriage and we see spiritual connection or destiny. Going to the bottom of the deck. See, again, we're seeing something about wanting to talk. I want to talk with you about how much I love you and about this infringing party and this apology. I want to make the effort, but I don't know what to do. I feel all this uncertainty here. I feel this uncertainty. How do I fix and heal the situation? There are so much unknowns. I'm hoping that the timing will be right. I've been deeply thinking about this and I'm strongly attached to you. 
and I want to bring things into balance, but I'm concerned about this offer of love, new love, renewed love, and I want to make the wise decision. We see this um, money situation, an obligation, a commitment to reuniting with this person. Uh, it's showing me that they're cautious here. They want to end these cautions when it comes to this person. They feel like there could be this commitment to your marriage, and they're waiting here to get your attention. And then we go further. It's showing that I want your attention. It's been taking so long and I'm at a crossroads. There's been this harsh action, this sudden action to speak a truth about this potential offer opportunity. I want to apologize about this money situation because I deeply love you. So it looks like they said something harsh, did something harsh, did something sudden, rash there about this, this, this potential what they felt was a potential offer opportunity here, Ace of Wands, which caused an indecision here. They're like letting you know, I deeply love you. I want, to, I want you to know that I deeply love you with the King of Cups energy. So with all that being said, what actions are they gonna take here? Let's see. Let's use the Gypsy. What actions is a Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what actions is Leo's love interest going to take towards Leo romantically? Like, what's the highest potential action they're going to take towards or the most likely action they're going to take towards Leo romantically in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it looks like, to be real about it, it looks like they're going to utilize a person to kind of I feel like spy on you, okay? Uh, because you can see you're coming here around the tree here, if you guys can see. And you see that this, this is the card of competition, enemy, right? Or uh, infringing party of some sort. To find out about loyalty and devotion. And we see um, something transactional, maybe buying something, purchasing something. Yeah, see, they're, they're getting someone's help here. Some infringing party here. And also, they're listening to their intuition, doing something spiritual, maybe praying about the situation as well. Yeah, there's something sly slick here in their thoughts. And then it looks like after all this, they want to find out what the deal is, and then they're going to communicate, letter, message, document. So let's just talk about this. Okay, so it looks to me like your person is going to utilize other people to kind of find out information or do things behind the scenes to get information. Then once they get the information, then they're going to, looks like some kind of communication is going to come in. Letter, message, document. Let's give you guys some advice. Nice advice for my Leos when it comes to their love connection for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so it's saying express love through gifts. Well, I feel like what it's saying is get ready to receive some kind of gift. So that also could be the case too with that action. It just seems like there was some kind of go-between person between you and the person. So it seems like there's a go-between here. And we did see something about purchasing so or buying something. So possibly what could be going on here is you guys are going to receive some kind of gift. So Because it's saying get ready to receive some kind of gift. Yeah, it says there's some kind of simple act of kindness. And focus on love. So. I feel like you guys feel like there's some definitely some issues here because I see there's a dragon and it's like you don't know if you can trust it. But they're saying being see the situation with the eyes of love, right? So it's saying focus on love, look for the good in everyone. Because remember, like attracts like. What do I always tell you guys all the time, right? If you put frustration, you put anger, you put distrust out in the universe, that's what you get back. So what do you do instead? Love. Um, you know, everything is great, blessings, send all that kind of stuff out into the universe, that's what you get back.
If you speak truth, you get truth back, right? If you do things that are a good integrity, you're going to get good integrity back. So if you speak love, put love into the universe, that's what you're going to get back. We are all co-creators of this reality. So we have to remember, what is our thoughts creating in this reality? Change that perception of your reality, you would change your reality. So in this case, of marriage, spirits like, like attracts like so. Do what you feel like. You treat people the way you want to be treated, right? So it's the same thing. You put out there how you want to be treated. Like attracts like. And have faith in the situation that everything will be okay. And that there are uh, this, there is support here. And it's saying, do something for someone to help get to the heart of the matter. The only thing that is real is love. And that's the truth. There's only two emotions in this world. It's fear and it's love. And the only truth is love. Because that's on, the only emotion that ever existed was love. So, because we're all really, in, at the fundamentals of who we are, we're all one being. And it's only love. All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. I, I do mean that when I say that. I do love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful drones, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Um, and I will see you guys another day or two. I love you guys so much. There's going to be some guest astrologers coming on, so you guys stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to be putting up the 2024 reads. So yes, we'll get to see what's going to happen for the year of 2024. 2024. Wow, we're already at 2024. I can't believe it. Um, yes, my darlings. I will love you guys. There's multiple things you guys can go check out right now. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.